All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I got some flash rumors to talk about today, some flash theories that I have on my own. Let me know your thoughts below if you believe this stuff or not, or if you have some theories yourself. Okay, at DC Fandom, we got this short teaser, and the two Barry Allens were wearing two different flash suits. The first Barry Allen we see, I think, is the main DCEU flash from Zack Snyder's Just League, Just League 2017, and Suicide Squad. The background flash is from a different multiverse, different timeline, and he is more morphed into this timeline with the main Barry Allen or vice versa because of what Barry Allen does to bring his mother back from the dead by switching up the timelines which also introduces Supergirl and Michael Keaton's Batman but Scoot on Twitter who works on many film productions had a theory or maybe it's a fact that they're not recruiting Michael Keaton's Batman in this scene they're actually recruiting somebody else and it actually makes sense what he had to say if they're recruiting Michael Keaton's Batman then why is the background Flash wearing a Michael Keaton suit already spray painted with the Flash logo and also in that teaser trip we got to see the boots were spray painted with the Flash logo as well so if that's the case they've already met Michael Keaton's Batman they've been to Wayne Manor they've explained to Keaton what exactly is going on and Keaton at this stage in the movie is already in he's already helping them and maybe just maybe he has gotten badly injured or captured because this shot from the teaser trailer where the back cowl seems damaged there's blood on the ground it's clearly michael keaton's batman suit then maybe the two flashes and supergirl need more help for this big mission that they're on maybe to save michael keaton's batman could they be recruiting ben affleck from a different timeline, a younger Ben Affleck, before we got to see him in Batman v Superman, before he got the chance to lead to Superman's death, before Wonder Woman was introduced, because remember, Andy Machete did share this image of a brand new suit for Michael Keaton, which I have another theory about, and I'll do a separate video on it, but Michael Keaton obviously switches over from his old suit into this new suit, but what is that reason? And there is blood on this bat suit, very much how there's blood beside his bat suit in that teaser trailer. I think it brings up so many questions. What leads to Michael Keaton switching over and using a different suit, and why is there blood so much in the two teasers that we've got so far? But what if? The rumours are true that Gal Gadot, that Aquaman, Henry Cavill will appear in this movie. That would be pretty awesome. It's a shame that Ray Fisher right now will not be in it. Maybe by the time he can shoot something short, things are you know coming along nicely with Discovery. Hopefully Ray can get back into this movie. But what if the two Flashes and Supergirl are going to multiple timelines? Because Andy Machete said this is a multiverse of cinematic movies of movies there's a multiverse of movies so if they're visiting batman v superman man of steel the burton movies maybe other dc movies then is it out of the question that they're recruiting another member of the justice league for this mission and they're not talking to michael keaton in that scene because as i said supergirl's already there the two flashes are there Flash is there in Michael Keaton's costume. He's already got it spray painted. Why would that be the case if they had just met? Now, maybe they arrived at Wayne Manor, they explained it, and then they said to him, we need a suit. Oh, grab that one. And then they explained it. Maybe, maybe. But could they be talking to Ben Affleck's Batman? Because the rumors that Ben Affleck is just Bruce Wayne have been squashed because Barbara Machete, the producer of the movie, did say that he suits up in the Flash movie. So we already know that Ben Affleck will have an action sequence. You know, his Batman in the bat suit. We got to see those set photos from Glasgow. We know that he will probably be Bruce Wayne. And then he will have scenes in the Batman costume. And there's also a big rumour right now. And even Barbara Machete maybe even hinted at it. That Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton will share scenes together. Now that would be pretty awesome. So what if the two Flashes and Supergirl are recruiting a younger Batfleck for this mission? What if... That's exactly what's going on. They go to Henry Cavill's Superman just after Man of Steel before Superman and Batman can fight. Maybe they go to Wonder Woman before Wonder Woman exposes herself to the world in Batman v Superman. Maybe they're recruiting 
the Justice League for this mission. But I think it's a very good chance that they recruit Ben Affleck, an alternate timeline version of Ben Affleck's Batman for this big mission that they have. Because if the rumors are true that Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck have an action sequence together or a scene together, then that would make sense that Batfleck joins this new team. Because if there's multiple Flash, if there's multiple Batmans, why can't there be multiple Ben Affleck Batmans? You know, we've already had multiple Justice League teams together in different movies. You could argue that's from a different timeline from Zack Snyder's Justice League. You could argue that and probably get away with it. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see Ben Affleck at the start of this movie, you know, then Barry changes the timeline. Maybe Ben Affleck gets trapped in the Speed Force. Maybe he dies, but then they go to an alternate version of Batfleck to recruit him. That's kind of my theory. But even if it's not Batfleck, I still think that they're recruiting somebody else. I don't think they're talking to Michael Keaton's Batman in that scene. Keaton could be injured, he could be knocked out, he could be in a a coma. So they need more help for this mission. So maybe they bring somebody from a different timeline into the timeline that they're in right now. The Burton world with Supergirl and the other Flash. And they're talking to that person, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, who knows who else, and ask them to join the team. Another big rumour is that this film will introduce a new Justice League team. So what could that Justice League consist of? Now Batgirl, I think, I've heard, is set to come out before the Flash movie. And I've been saying for a long time, I think the new Justice League team could be Keaton as a mentor. But you still have Batfleck, you have Superman, you have Aquaman, you have Cyborg, you have Wonder Woman. But you also have Supergirl, you also have Batgirl joining this team for whenever they make a Justice League film down the line. So I definitely think the Flash is interacting with more than just Ben Affleck's Batman and Michael Keaton's Batman. I think other heroes will show up and they will need them for this mission that they're on. But guys, what's your thoughts on that scene in the Flash teaser where you have the two Flashes and Supergirl and Barry Allen says, are you in? Do you think he's talking to Michael Keaton's Batman? But they're already in the Batcave, Burton's Batcave, and they've already spray-painted Keaton's old suit to be a new Flash suit. So, like, does it add up? What do you think? Maybe they are talking to Keaton. Let me know below. Guys, thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.